Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. In the last episode, we saved the Psyducks. They had massive headaches, but we gave them the secret medicine that seemed to cure them. Now we have this whole path opened up. This is gonna be Route 210 into Celestic Town, apparently. And we have to deliver the old charm to Celestic Town, I think to uh, Cynthia's grandmother, something like that. So that'll be pretty cool to see. And I think that we should look for some Pokemon along the way. Apparently Cynthia said there are some more rare ones. I wouldn't think Geodude is a rare Pokemon personally, and I think we already have it caught, so I think I'll keep moving from this one. But uh, it is definitely something to keep in mind that we might find some worthwhile stuff around here. Either way, we just wanna keep exploring, grab a Pokeball or two. Right here we have a Super Repel. Okay, good stuff. But yeah, hopefully soon we can make our way to the new city and maybe take on a gym soon. That would be great, but it's good to have a sense of direction. Again, I feel like we were a little lost in the last episode, but we got some stuff done, and now we know where we're going. So that's always nice. Anyways, once again, we're still not really seeing too much new stuff right now. Just trying my best to uh, make sure we don't miss out on any Pokeballs at the least. Whoa, oh my gosh, a, a ninja. I'm one of the ninja trio. Being discovered means I must battle. Okay. You were challenged by Ninja Boy Fabian. Now you're sending out Geodude. Okay, so I guess there are ninjas hidden in the tall grass off the lookout for. Uh, for right now, yeah, what I have isn't super effective. I guess I should switch out. I can go to Pokemon. And you know what? I'll just go to Luke real fast. Should get the job done. go. So I don't think that'll do very much. Oh boy, the sandstorm. The sandstorm kicked up. Look, there's lots of sight of you, might have done something interesting. We'll just do Bubble Beam. Should definitely be a one hit, hit takedown against Geodude. And does this ninja have any other Pokemon to throw out? Guess we're about to find out. So close to a couple level ups there. Fabian's with us and not Geodude. We will keep our current Pokemon then. Okay, battle, bubble beam, same song and dance as before. You'd think that a ninja would have more like fighting type Pokemon, but maybe some of the other ninjas? I'm assuming there's others around the way that Fabian worded it. Oh, so close. One more. Geodude again, same move. Let's go out here, hit him with Bubble Beam, should be fine. But even these Pokemon, we have a significant level advantage over. So once again, that's a pretty good sign that we are uh, pretty strong right now. Don't have to worry about too much. We run into a gym leader kind of building. We should be fine with dealing with it. Uh, we got level 39 for Luke. Luke wants to learn to move Whirlpool, ooh, okay. Let's take a look at that. So Whirlpool is 35 power, 85 accuracy. The user traps the target in violent and a violent strolling Whirlpool for four to five turns. The only problem is I don't have really too much room for it. The only thing is that I could put it over Aqua Jet. The good advantage of Aqua Jet is it goes first every single time. But is that better than having Whirlpool do damage? I don't know. I've never been super into these type of moves. We turned one down like this for Kipper last episode, and Basker to level 38. That's gonna be it. You defeated Ninja Boy Fabian. I can see defeat. Well, it was a good battle. You tried your best. My cover is blown, so what should I do? Maybe I'll go catch some super contest shows in Heart Thumb City. Maybe I'll do that. So we'll have to look around. I guess there might be other ninjas lurking. Look at another Ponyta. If we don't find any new Pokemon soon, I might just put a Repel on, just so that it's a little bit more convenient. I feel this sort of stops up a lot of uh, what we're trying to get done. Okay, we'll grab this. It is a Hyper Potion. So where could the other ninjas be? Are there really other ninjas hiding around? Look at another Geodude, oh my gosh, yeah. So I think I'll go ahead and uh, just switch that one held item for Kipper so that we shouldn't run into any battles around here. Hopefully. 
Okay, so I have the cleanse tag out here. I don't, oh no, I guess maybe that only works in caves and stuff. Oh, but we find a bonsai, which I don't think we have. So you know what, maybe it was worth it. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's not a problem. Okay, so we're just gonna quickly throw out a quick ball. Where'd that be right here? Hopefully that does the trick against a little bonsai here. Come on. Got it. Okay, very good, bonsai was caught. So at least we get something new for the Pokedex. We're gonna be running around, bumping into a bunch of Pokemon. Bonsai Pokemon, rock type, it prefers arid environments. It, it leaks water from its eyes to adjust its body's fluid levels. Okay, no nickname for Bonsai. Of course, Bonsai evolves into Pseudo Wudo, which we also need to catch at some point. But I'm not seeing any more ninjas around here, which is a bit unfortunate, but if I find anything, you guys will be the first to know. Whoa, okay, see, there's little circles on the ground in some spots. I'm one of the ninja trio. Being discovered means I must battle. That means there's one more ninja around here. We're challenged by Ninja Boy Brennan. Zupad, okay. Kipper should be fine. Obviously the most preferred would be Bass, but we should have enough of a level advantage, I'm sure at this point. Should just be fine with whatever. We'll do Flame Charge. Or Flame Wheel, I think. Not bad. Scruppy. Uh, I think we're fine keeping with, with Kipper then. I wonder when Kipper's gonna evolve, because Ponyta does evolve, I'm pretty sure. Gotta be soon. I'd, I'd be really surprised if we go too far past level 40 without an evolution. Or level 35 right now. So yeah, hopefully in the next couple levels we'll see Kipper evolve. But there we go, Ninja Boy Brennan has been defeated. I can see defeat. Well, I hid in the tall grass, I sense Pokemon all around me. Furtive sounds of movement, stifled cries, I heard them. It's cool. So like for a moment, you were sort of one with nature. So I just gotta look around for that last ninja. Gotta be around somewhere. Ooh, here we go. You can counter the wild Chansey. Now I'm almost positive we've not run in the Chansey before. Yep, okay, so we'll quickly use a quick ball and see if we can't just catch it. Come on. Ah, not gonna happen. All right then, so we'll sort of try to echoed voice. Ooh, okay, that did not do much. So for right now, I guess we, I wanna do something not too crazy. Maybe I could just try using a great ball. We have a couple of these. But it might be worth putting a status element on Chansey. Off the switch. Luckily, this still doesn't do much. Critical hit, though. Pokemon, uh, we will switch to Bast, I think. Because Bast has charge. Maybe not what I'm looking for then. Stun Spore, there we go, we want Stun Spore. So with this, we just throw out Stun Spore and it should make it a lot easier to catch Chansey. Because I'm afraid that with how powerful our Pokemon are, just trying to attack them would just lead to an instant takedown. Okay, there we go, paralyzed. Tail Whip shouldn't be too much of a problem. Come on, this is the time, Chansey, come on! Chansey's a fighter so far. Oh my goodness. So what are they doing now? I think they're trying to put Juno to sleep. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, because I'm just gonna continually throw Pokeballs. Oh, Juno shook herself the leak. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Hmm. Could try a Premier Ball. It's a rare Pokeball. I don't know if that makes it better. Come on. Come on, ah. It's one of those things where obviously attacking would give me a higher chance of catching the Pokemon. But the concern is that my Pokemon are too powerful, it would be a one hit takedown. I could try Poison Sting, but that's, it's just, oh, it's risky.
Come on. Nice, okay, that's good. Life do. So I guess they're gonna heal themselves up. That's fine. Uh, if they could stay in the yellow, oh, they won't, but it's still, some of the HP is lower. Throw out another Great Ball, I think. Oh my gosh, Chansey is so difficult. Okay, well the fight's going on long enough that I could try a Timer Ball. I might try one last Poison Sting and hope that this doesn't take her out. Ah, darn, that is really unfortunate. <laughs> An unfortunate critical. Okay, well, it is what it is. It, it's always tough in that situation. We, we get a level for Kipper and for Staravia. That's always exciting. We'll have to give that another try at some point. So where is this last ninja? <laughs> I gotta find him. Oh, I think I maybe, yep, yeah, there you go, I found it. I'm one of the ninja trio. Being discovered means I must battle. But how did they discover me? Don't tell me you're a ninja too. Nope, I just used my eyes. All right, so there we go. The third ninja trio person, this is Bruce. We have Stunky, one of my favorites. We had Stunky in Pokemon Shield. Okay, so we're gonna do Flame Wheel. Oh, not too bad. They're gonna use Bite, which probably doesn't hurt too much. One more Flame Wheel should do the trick. Got it. So yeah, Stunky's a bit higher level, 27. So maybe that gap is finally starting to close in a little bit. Get level 39 for Juno. Awesome. So close to 40. If you did Ninja Boy Bruce, I can see the feet. Got the most money for one in that one. A Pokemon trainer trainer's good at finding stuff, I guess. Indeed. So there we go. The po the uh, the ninja trio is defeated. What's going on up here? I did use a repel just to sort of get through some things. We got an Ultra Ball. Very cool. So, not really worth looking for Pokemon. Whoa, 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 what's happening? It's all misty. Whoa. If I could use the hidden move Defog, I'd clear up the weather in two flaps of Staravia's wings. How does Defog work, you ask? Bird Pokemon flap their wings to blow the fog away. Do I have Defog? Huh. Let's go ahead and sort by name. Yeah, we do have Defog right down this way. All right, then let's teach this to Staravia. This thing can only be used once. That's okay. And I guess we'll put that over Endeavor. It doesn't really matter too much. Actually, let's put it over Quick Attack because I don't think I need that one. So there we have it, Stravia learned Defog. So I don't know how I get the Pokemon to use it. Check summary, walk together, swap Pokemon. Maybe if I have Stravia walk with us? Stravia looked at you and nodded. No, okay. I'm a little confused. I could use the hidden move Defog to corrupt the weather in two flaps of Stravia's wings. How does Defog work, you ask? Bird Pokemon flop their wings and blow the fog away. Yes, I understand that much. What I don't understand is how do I get the Pokemon to actually do it? Well, okay. Um. Hmm. Hidden moves. Defog. A wild Staraptor held out by using Defog. Okay, so maybe I didn't need to actually use my Staravia. But hey, that works. Pretty cool. So I guess we're good just to look around here a little bit. Repel's effects were off. I would not like to use another one. As an ace trainer, I have to take battles in stride. I need to stay cool and calm whether I win or lose. Well, give it your best shot. You never know, you might win. We're challenged by ace trainer Alyssa. They're sending up Ponyta. We also have a Ponyta, so I might have to switch some things out here. I think I'll just go for Luke then. Sort of our best bet. Luke is the only one that has moves that are good against fire type at the moment on our team. But that's okay.
Yeah, that won't do very much. But it is exciting that the rest of our team, you know, is slowly closing in on level 40. Including Luke here. Luke's level 39 at the moment. But there we go. Ponyta defeated. Who else did this trainer have? On a critical hit. Wishing to be praised. Well, good job, Luke. Super proud. And that's also some health back because of the uh, shell bell. Which is always good. Grottle. Okay, so we saw a Grottle before, and I should have switched. I don't know why I didn't. For a second, I forgot. I don't have Ponyta, I just defeated Ponyta. So, Pokemon. Kipper. There we go. So yeah, Kipper should do just fine. Doesn't do much there. Even though Kipper's a little beat up, we should probably heal her up soon. Let's use Flame Wheel. Oh, and Grottle's burned. Grottle's gonna use Bite. That just isn't too bad. We just need to land one more move on you and we should be good. Battle, we'll just do Flame Charge this time, I think. Perfect. Okay, so with Grottle Fainang. Decent experience, we've defeated Ace Trainer Alyssa. Hey, we lost. How dare you beat us, go away, go. Okay, I'm leaving. There's even more Ace Trainers up here. Oh, is it gonna be a double battle? I guess so. Here comes a trainer. Zach, you ready? Let's do this. Jen, watch this, I'm going to use everything you've taught me. Because we have two more ace trainers here. Double team Jen and Zach. I have Raichu and Gyarados. Ooh, these are actually some intimidating Pokemon, I think. First time seeing Raichu um, in this game, so that's gonna be an extra addition to the Pokedex. Pretty cool. So, how do we wanna handle this? I think I'll have Kipper after Raichu, Bast after Gyarados. Should be a fine enough combo. Okay, everybody's intimidating everyone. We got it, we got it. Um, so we'll use Flame Charge against Raichu. And then fast, we'll do Volt Switch. Actually, let's just do Spark. There we go. Your Raichu's gonna hold on for a bit, but this should be good. Amazing. Okay, some good experience there. Thunderbolt onto Kipper. Oh no, poor Kipper. Now might just be a good time to switch it out. Uh, sure, I'll just switch out for Juno, I guess. It doesn't really matter too much. Well, actually, Maybe we haven't seen Mochi's new evolution since we got in the last episode. Let's do that. Um, and for Bast, we'll go ahead and just do Spark. It's not gonna do very much, but I guess I could have done a bite or something. Okay, so Mochi's coming out. Bast do Spark. Ooh, not bad. Not very effective, but still almost takes him out. Bass is gonna be fine. And I think we'll just use, oh, let's use our new move, Dragon Pulse. Oh, what's the Dragon Breath that was the new one? I don't remember. They're both very similarly named. We might not even get the chance to actually use Mochi here. Unless this trainer has another Pokemon way nine. Ooh, that was a bunch of experience. Nope, that's it, defeated Team Genzak. I just got embarrassed in front of my little buddy here. Wow, someone that's even better than Jen. 26,000 for winning, oh my goodness. That was a lot. Zach, I'm so sorry. I'm a failure as your instructor. I don't care if I get to meet the greatest trainer in the region. I'd still rather learn from Jen. Oh, well, that's sort of cute. The wall is very rocky, could a hidden move let you scale. Yeah, I think I need strength for that, which I think is our last hidden move to get. So what's going on up here then? Whoa, there's another ninja. I just startled you, yes you did. 
While you're still struggling to recover, I'll already be the winner. Oh, we'll see about that. And then there was another fighter down there we need to talk to. Ninja Boy Joel. There's something else. You bet to start things off. I still forgot the heal kipper here, so I need to do that after this. Yeah, Kipper's sort of struggling at the moment, but I think we're fine enough. Yeah, to do Flame Wheel. Got it, okay, perfect. And that's level 36 for Mochi. Scruppy, uh, we will switch Pokemon. I think Bass will be fine, we'll find out. So Bass will intimidate it. And we will, we'll just do Spark real quick. Maybe we'll land a critical, don't even need to. Perfect. See these trainers, while they are getting stronger, are still very handleable. Zubat again. So actually we can keep with Bass, Zubat's flying types, so this will already be a type advantage. Okay, so just spark. Gotcha. Okay, looking good. Another Pokemon, we got Golbat this time, which is an evolution of the Z-Bat. Which I don't know if we've really seen this Pokemon too much, so at the least it's an addition to the Pokedex. Whoa, it's huge. But yeah, it's always nice to battle new Pokemon because they give you a lot more experience if it's your first time battling them. There we go, so close level 39 for Vast. Very exciting, defeated Ninja Boy Joel. What's with you? You didn't give me any openings. Got 500 for winning. I need a better reaction out of you. I feel silly f hiding for so long, I'm sorry. Anyways, we got this guy. I don't know, maybe I already did battle you. If I could use the hidden move. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry, I got it mixed up. Um, I guess that means I'm just good to go across this way. Yep. Here we go. We should just be good to move forward. But before I do, before I forget, I need to heal up for Pokemon. Do I have potions? Yeah, super potion. Kipper, do we have a regular potion? Yes, we do. Oh, I didn't mean to use that for Luke. There we go, perfect. And then, you know, for good measure, we'll give one to Bass. Everybody's all healed up. Watch me run into a healing area right now. That always happens, right? Anyways, we do have this trainer. You seem to have a lot of confidence. Let's see if it's justified. I think it is. But I guess we'll put it to the test here. We're challenged by Ace Trainer Ernest. Mothin. Oh, that's so cute though. I like Mothin. Kipper should be able to handle it. It's probably a bug flying, so. Flame Mail should do a good amount of damage to it, and they have two more Pokemon after this. So now we're sort of starting to run into more of a variety of Pokemon, and that's always so much more fun to me. Just seeing all these different creatures all the time. A lot more inspiring. A level 39 for Bast and 31 for Stravia. Maybe that'll finally be the evolution. Onyx. Okay, now we'll switch. I think we'll switch over to Luke. Hit them with a bubble beam or something similar. If you were going against the evolution of Onyx, Steelix, then I'd keep with Kipper. But since it's Onyx, I think we'll be fine with just hitting it with water type move. Could try Aqua Jet. I think Bubble Beam will be fine enough. I'd be surprised if we don't attack first. Since we're such higher level. There we have it. Level 37 for Kipper, left, level ups left and right right now. Luxio, okay. So definitely switch Pokemon to what though? Maybe back to Kipper? Or we could try Oh, that could be risky though, because it's dragon flying. Hmm. 
You know what, we'll do Juno. Cause we got that Giga Drain that does so much damage. Might as well give that a try. Okay, so. Battle. We'll just go Giga Drain right away. And that's a one hit takedown. Everything you wanna see. It's also a cool new environment. I don't think we've battled in, in like a rocky area like this. We defeated Ace Trainer Ernest. Haha, <laughs> a total loss for me. All right, we got 1800 for winning. You seem to have an abundance of talent. It's pretty amazing. Well, thank you. So we could ride our bikes across there, which I might do soon. I sort of wanted to get another look around the place a bit. I right, get that set up. Go, go, go. Oh, it's another ninja. I, I saw it. A little bump in the floor. A ninja can use all sorts of cool techniques. Let's see him then. You're challenged by Ninja Boy Davey. They are gonna send out Dust Ox. Okay, Dust Ox should be no problem for Kipper. Gonna do the flame mill here. Got it, awesome. Oh, look at how much sprints. That must be the first time we won against Dust Hawks, and we defeated Ninja Boy Davy. Okay, they only had one Pokemon then. Pretty easy. Hmm, my ninja techniques failed to work. There's a ninja gym leader somewhere far away. We should become a devotee of theirs. I don't think we've gone against it. We've gone against a fighting one, right? But that wasn't ninja exactly. All right, we can go ahead and smash this rock real quick. Pokeball ready and waiting for us. This is a TM30 Shadow Ball. Okay, seems good. Oh, hi. So I don't think I need Staravia out here anymore. I thought I needed Staravia for Defog, but it didn't work that way, so we'll get Kipper back out. Um, walk together. Perfect. So back out this way, across this board. We go through that so fast, and we have another trainer to go against. This buff physique isn't just for show. We'll see about that. Turns by Black Belt Adam. Setting up my choke. So, of course, bird or flying. I don't know, I always want to call it bird type. But flying type is good against fighting. So we could always switch over to Mochi. For right now, though, let's just. This is the only Pokemon they have that I don't want to bother too much with switching out. You don't have to. Oh, but that really didn't do too much. Knock off. Ooh, that hurt. Knocked off Kipper's Cleanse Tech, which honestly, we didn't really need on there anyways, so it's fine. So the Flame Wheel, oh, so close. Focus Energy, oh no. Means our next attack's gonna be really strong, but hopefully we can take him out before that happens. And there we go, level 40 for loot, the first Pokemon in our group to reach level 40, pretty exciting. He defeated Black Belt Adam. Ooh, ah. <laughs> All right. Why? Is it because my training wasn't enough? I mean, maybe you're training your muscles, but not your Pokemon ability as much? I see the ninja, yeah. We ninjas up here where you least expect us. There are ninjas all over the place now. Maybe we're not too far from that ninja gym as, as we thought. Ninja boy Nathan. Gonna send out Krogunk. Krogunk is cool. Very jealous. Our Kipper's looking a little sleepy, so maybe soon we can look into uh, switching her out for another Pokemon. Okay, well, there you go. Got that done. Golbat, so we'll switch our Pokemon with us. I think if it's Golbat, Bass should be just fine, right? Yeah. Bass and Juno are really close level 40 as well, so we'll keep working on it, we'll get somewhere. Yeah, the, the trainer battles have been much more enjoyable. 
when there's just more variety of Pokemon. And that's definitely something with Sword and Shield I feel like was a lot of fun from my memory is that there was just a lot of Pokemon to run into. Um, in the battles, you would see a lot of variety, and that just makes things so much more interesting, in my opinion. I feel the older Pokemon games didn't do that as much, and it sort of makes sense, because they had less Pokemon to work with, but even then, I feel like they were being really limited with it. There's just still quite a few Pokemon in this game, we just haven't seen too many of them. Either way, Ninja Boy Nathan is defeated. I didn't expect to lose. I'm so sorry, but he did. When I hide out like this, I think about what it must be like for Pokemon inside their Pokeballs. I guess so. We found a Smoke Ball. I haven't seen that one before, interesting. Anyways, back this way we have, I'll teach you about the charms of bird Pokemon. Yeah, Bird Trainer. We're challenged by Bird Keeper Brianna. Hoot Hoot, <laughs> Hoot Hoot is so cute. Hoot Hoot is cute cute, there you go. So I think we'll just keep with Flame Mill for now. But they are starting to catch up in levels. No longer are we 20 levels ahead instead of only 10. It's still enough for one at takedowns like that, but overall not too bad. Noctowl. So we'll switch just for the sake of it. Um, Back over to Bast. So with Noctowl, which is the evolution of Hootoot, I think we'll be fine with Bast. It will do Spark. Awesome. And there's level 40 for Juno, so looks like Juno beat Bast by just a little bit. Toxic, okay, so what is Toxic then? So Toxic is a poison type move. Uh, the, a move that leads to target badly poison, its poison damage worsens every turn. So maybe that's better than Poison Sting, even though it doesn't have any base damage. It's only 15 to begin with with Poison Sting. So I think that actually sounds like a good idea. For the few times we really need to poison somebody, now we can, guaranteed. So choosing, Juno forgot Poison t Sting and learned Toxic instead. Okay. Wow, I admit, I'm surprised. The sight of you battling, it was simply a wonder to watch. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure battling with you. So we can't get down there quite yet. We have one last trainer here. Haven't run into this trainer type. Me, lose to someone so young? I dare say not. We'll see about that. Age and experience are usually often linked, but not always. Veteran Brian, send up Weasel. I think we can we can handle Weasel. Probably not with a Kipper, but we can in general. Okay, yeah, we'll switch over to Bast. Okay, so for this, we'll intimidate Weasel a little bit. Please don't make it an attack in. Bite, which might make Bass flinch. It didn't, okay, good. Spark, now Blazer should get taken down. And Stravia once again closing in a level up. I'm gonna guess maybe between level 35 and 40, Stravia is gonna get that last evolution. Giraffe Rig. I don't know what type giraffe rig is. We call it a giraffe rig in the past, but I, I forgot. Um, so we'll just go for this. We'll do, we'll do Volt Switch since it's, oh, I could have done, oh no, I could have just done Bite. Whoops. Oh, it doesn't matter anyways, one hit take down. So Bass went back. I don't know what other Pokemon, Pokemon can experience. Level up for Stravia. I'll just go send Bass back out. Bass was already in battle. Okay, you can't do that. Uh, let's do Mochi. All right, Mochi. Machoke. So actually, that's perfect. Lined up just right. 
Uh, we will just do fly. It's super effective against fighting. So we're gonna fly up high. Not much is gonna happen this turn then. They'll use knockoff, but we're too far up in the air to be affected by that. Here we go. Good job, Mochi, with the one at takedown. Super effective. A choke fainted. Looking good. And defeated veteran Brian. The power of youth, it's startling. Somehow it makes me happy seeing a young yet sure-footed trainer such as yourself. I'm glad it makes you happy. Okay, so we have a lot of berries here. We've got two Agua berries. I'm gonna get off the bike because I feel like I'm gonna have a hard time maneuvering such a small area with it. There you go. Uh, we got two wiki berries. Look how each spot has a different type of berries. We got two chest of berries. And then finally, two citrus berries. I have so many berries, more than I feel like I'll ever need. But I guess better to have more than to not have enough. But here we go, route 210 to Celestic Town. We're well on our way, and here we are. Okay, I thought we maybe had a little bit more to go. But that's awesome, we made it to Celestic Town. I guess I can explore here a little bit. A lot of people in here. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Sure, sounds good to me. Yep, everybody's all healed up. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. So I might actually save exploring Celestic Town for a bit later. For now, my main goal is just to get whatever we need to do. Deliver the old charm charm to Celestic Town. So I don't know exactly where, but I'm sure we can find out. The past lives. Or the past lives, maybe? There's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there, but that only seemed to make him angry. He's saying he will blow the town up with a bomb. The nerve of it all. If only I were younger, I'd punish that spaceman with my Pokemon. That's not good. There's not a spaceman in front of the ruins. Okay, he's gonna say the same thing. Um. Okay. Oh, here. This town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with a Pokemon battle. So what's it gonna be? You're going to mess with me? Of course I am. You dare to oppose Team Galactic? That means you're taking on the world. No, the universe even. We'll see about that. And that's the case. Let's have a universal conquest. Team Galactic Grunt is gonna send up you to fly, which Kipper should be able to handle just fine. I love the color of the wings for Beautifly. We'll do a super effective flame wheel. More or less guaranteed to be a one hit takedown. There it is. I think the Grunt had one more Pokemon. Krogunk, so we will switch Pokemon. Um, Krogunk I think is fighting poison, so let's try uh, Mochi here. Mochi is very close to a level up. Anticipation. Isn't Krogon shredded? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Either way, we'll fly up in the air. See you, Mochi. Have a nice flight. Sucker punch, but we're avoiding it. That's good. Here we go. Oh, very good. Yeah, all right, awesome. Very close to three level ups here. You defeated Team Galactic Grunt. I just got worked over by a kid, no less. Yep, that's how it works. That's why you can't just throw out idle threats like that. Too much to handle. Whatever, I'm out of this one horse town. There's nothing to do here anyways. I mean, why were you here in the first place if there was nothing to do here? Who knows, but oh, that old lady. Well, aren't you quite the trainer? That was magnificent. As the elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that whole charm. May I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with, with it to deliver to me? That's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. You handed over the old charm to the elder. 
This old charm is something made in Celestic Town long, long ago. It was made in honor of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. These old charms are still discovered now and again. Since you're in Celestic Town, why not look around inside the, the ruins? Sure. A giant etching of a Pokemon-like creature covers the wall. There is some fading text etched in, in as well. The flow of time never stops. The past, future, and present. And what does this one say? A giant etching of a Pokemon-like creature covers the wall. There's some fading text etched in as well. Space is ever-expanding dimensions. Our spirits, too, are a space. You've gone to the trouble of visiting Celestic Town, so why not take a little more time to examine the ruins? Exactly what I'll do. Whoa. So what's going on in here? We have more carvings in the wall. You examine the ancient cave painting. Mysterious designs cover a whole section of the wall. There are three strange things forming a triangle. In the middle of them is a shining sphere. What is this all about? The cave paintings remind me of an old story. There existed a being, a being so powerful, it was considered a deity at the time. Opposing this being were three Pokemon. The three kept it balanced with the one, as if they, were, they formed a triangle. It's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that still holds to this day in Celestic Town. Oh yes, I found something useful. You should take these. They belong to my granddaughter, but she's not using them. Between TM95s. Surf and the Hidden Moves app allows you to move across the surface of water. Wow, okay, that'll be useful. Each of those TMs contains Surf. The user controls a huge wave, drags everything around it except for the user itself, and attacks. And my granddaughter said something about, what was it? Oh yes, you can now use Surf from your poke edge to cross water such as seas and rivers. To use that hidden move in the field, however, you must first obtain the Hearthstone Gym Badge. On that matter, you will have to handle it yourself, I'm afraid. Okay. Examine the ancient cave painting. Mysterious design, so this isn't gonna say anything new. Is there anything else to do around here, I wonder? I guess not. So we'll head out for now. What an interesting altercation, though. Whoa, okay, we've got somebody else. There appears to have been an, an insignificant struggle here. Everyone should step back and view things from a bigger perspective. Yes, a bigger perspective, one that is on a universal scale. My name is Cyrus. I seek the power to create a new world, a world without strife. However, that power seems to be unavailable here. We've met before, yes? It was at Mount Coronet. If you discover any powers derived from the legends of Sinnoh, inform me. For that power is what I need to create my new world. That sounds a bit ominous, a new world. Okay, well at the least it's ambitious. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot going on. Is there supposed to be a, a gym here? What does the game have us do? Defeat Fantine at the Hearthome Gym. So that's our next goal, and that's gonna be down this way. So you know what? We'll spend the rest of today exploring this town then. We have the time. Uh, I do wanna take a look at the map itself and see what it says. Um, right here for uh, Celestic Town. A tiny town that preserves the history of Sinnoh and the old ways of life. In the center of the town is a small shrine that dates to ancient times. Very cool. So we've checked out all of that already. So I might as well just run around town and see what we can find. Howdy, studying up on local history? Yes, I am. This is where we entered from before, so might as well just sort of make our way around. What's going on in this house? Got some people hanging out. If I climb to the top of Mount Coronet, will I be able to see all of Sinnoh? I mean, I'm sure you could. Seems like a pretty tall mountain. Mount Coronet, or is it Coronet? I'm not really sure. Towers at the center of Sinnoh. In a way, it's the closest place to the sky in this region. Huh. Okay, so down this way, I did already go and heal up Pokemon, but I didn't talk to the people in here, so might as well catch up. They might have some useful information for us. What would bring you to a place so far off the beaten path? There's nothing to see here but some ancient Pokemon etchings. Well, isn't that quite an interesting thing to see? Oh, now this is interesting. Let's see your Pokemon. It clearly likes it very much. You can have this. 
We obtained a great ball. Okay, that's nice. It's about trust between the trainer and the Pokemon. Developing trust in each other is the key to victory. I agree. They say this town has been here since Sinnoh was made. I don't know how long ago that was, but I'm sure it's been a good while. So what's going on inside of uh, this one? Hey, do you know what they say? They say a Pokemon created in the Sinnoh region, or Pokemon created the Sinnoh region. That's what the uh, old painting said, more or less, right? I must bear down and train, and for that, time is unimportant. Therefore, I have no need for a watch. Take this from me. You obtained the Analog Watch Poketch app. You installed the app on the Poketch. The Analog Watch app displays the current time. That's useful. So you can switch over to that. Shows it in military time, pretty cool. 1437, which is 2.37 PM. So I think there's still one or two buildings we can enter in here. I'll go ahead and I'll hide the Poketch because I just don't really need it at the moment. If it'll let me. There it goes. <laughs> Putting on a pair of glasses changes how the world looks. Taking a p off a pair of glasses changes how the world looks to you. Deep man. So would you like to change how the world looks to your Pokemon? You obtained a pair of black glasses. Interesting. The sunlight is bright in the daytime. How about a pair of black glasses? Black glasses raise the power of dark time moves. Ooh, that sounds fun. Welcome, may I help you? I'm here to buy. Oh, so they have a nice little shop here. So I wonder if I should pick up anything. Is there anything I really need? Not looking like it. So I think I'll save my money. Goodbye. You come again. Welcome, may I help you? So you also sell some stuff. Dusk ball, quick ball, and timer ball. Okay, Um, maybe I'll buy five dusk balls. And I'll also buy five timer balls. Having more of each would probably be a pretty good idea. Oh, hold on, I wanted to buy five, not one. There we go. Okay, looking good. We're gonna head out for now. There's no Pokemart in this town. Instead, you can buy and sell items in the house right next to me. Yep, we just did it. And this is the last one we can enter, I think, on this side. Hmm. If you get the gym badge from Hearthome, you can use the hidden move surf anytime. Using the hidden move surf, you'll be able to go to places that were once out of reach. I'm very excited for that. My big sister is studying the myths of Sinnoh. She wants to know how people and Pokemon interacted in the days of myths. Were things different back then? Or were they the same as now? She says that the focus that's the focus of her research. Where are you from? Hmm, Twin Leaf Town, you say? Isn't that close to Lake Verity? That lake is said to be home to Mesprit, the being of emotion. It must be looking over you. I guess so. Okay, so I think that's everything here for Celestic Town. So what would be this way then? We got Route 211. And there's even more trainers and stuff to explore here. If we take a look at the map, it should lead us back to Eterna City. See, so yeah, if we follow this path, we'll end up in Eterna City, which I think we've been to before. Yeah, seeing how I can fly, that means I've been there. Like, if I were to try to fly here, I can't. I can't fly there yet because we haven't been there. Um, so I think we'll leave that for the next episode. We'll, we'll go through this route. This is a uh, route 211, I think it was, yeah. And then we will go to Hartham and take on the gym leader there. That'll be a lot of fun. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.